everybody, it is me, Zoe, and today, um, I'm going to be doing an Operation Christmas Child packing, so, yeah, so let's just get right into the video and I'll tell you what it is. So, Operation Christmas Child is a ministry that churches around the world do, and you don't have to be a Christian to do this. I mean, it's like a lot of people go to churches just to try them out, and they're not exactly Christian. But you can also just drop your box at the center. And it is blessing many kids in like places like North Africa and Afghanistan and stuff like that that don't have anything. Like, so yeah, I mean, it blesses their lives and it makes them just have hope. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, if you don't like this video, just click off because I know a lot of people probably won't, but who cares because you're doing ministry, so. Anyways, so basically, um, I just, my family and I went to the Dollar Tree. You can just buy a bunch of stuff, random stuff at the Dollar Tree, just put it into a box, send it on its way, and you bless a child's life forever. So, we're going to get started. So, firstly, you just need a box, like this. Just a plastic shoe bin. Easy to find. Let me just push this back a little bit. Easy to find, just a plastic shoe bin. And then I have another one right here, which is red. So we're going to be doing red for the girl and green for the boy because that's what the colors are on there. So yeah, so basically we're just going to start. So the first thing I have for the girl is a Disney Princess stuff up because I chose girl 5 to 9 and also boy 5 to 9 years old. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to take it out of the package so that you can fit as much stuff as possible in it because otherwise... Yeah. Otherwise, it's really hard to do anything. So just a small little jump rope right there. I'll just put that in a box like that. You know, I'm gonna. Just a second. We're gonna put this off to the side. Oh, if you guys are wondering about my shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyways, if you guys are wondering about my shirt, this is the. A shirt from Java Jive Coffee yesterday. As you know, guys, I rave about my dad's coffee, and he finally got shirts. So I'm just gonna stand up and show you guys this. It says, "This is my Black Friday." It's just a hooded sweatshirt from Java Jive Coffee Roasters, and yeah, so that's what it is. And um, probably in my, in one of my next couple of videos, I will tell you guys where you can get these from. So just a second, because they'll probably be going live soon. Anyways. First, we have the box up here. So, next thing we got for the girl is markers. These can stay in the package because it is a reusable package, so that has a closure. That's good. Next, we got barrettes um, because you know, a lot of times they don't have very long hair in those countries, so we just got some barrettes. We'll also leave these in the package because it's clipped on. Clipped on. We also got some notebooks which are some for the boy and some for the girl. We'll pack the girl's shoe box first. So there's four notebooks. Um, and the two of them for the girl, we're going to use these two for the girl. Put those in there. And then we also got scented erasers. I actually had these for school one year, and they smelled so good. So I was like, well, we need to buy these scented erasers for Operation Crips Child Children. And... So we did, and I mean, they're not like world-class erasers, but they smell good, so blueberry is my favorite, it smells so good. Okay, and so for the girl, since she has a red box, we are going to put in um, red, blue, and purple, because those kind of filter around red. Next, that's some boy stuff. Next, we got some socks. They're just kids' fashion socks. They're just cute little socks. We got size 7 to 2, so that's like a kid's like baby size 7. Size 2, and I need a Skizzers. Just one second. Okay, there we go. Got my scissors. Sorry, I say things so weird, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I need my Skizzers. I'm just going to take the little knobs out. 
Anyways, yep, yeah, just some cute little socks. Put those in there. We also got the girls some slinkies, which I won't take these out. The slinkies get tangled super easily, so you don't exactly want that. Next thing we got are pencil sharpeners because they always say it's good to get them school supplies. So we're going to open. Sorry, I'm going crazy, aren't I? Okay. And this way they can give some to their friends who may not have gotten pencil sharpeners in the box. So again, we're just going to put the red and blue ones in here and then the green and the yellow ones are going to go in the boy box. Okay. Next, we have a cute little magic towel. So these are magic towels, they expand in water, and since usually they live around a river or have somewhere that has a well, they can use these just to wash, and it's just like a little Paw Patrol one, because it's five to nine, so, you know. Also got this little unicorn figurine, because we got the boys some Legos, so, thought that that'd be good. Anyways, just, just a cute little unicorn figurine. And then, it's not for the girl. And then we got a pack of pencils, 24, and we're just going to put um, 12 in each. So, Let's see how many this is. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, and 4. So this is pencils into the box. Okay, now on to another bag of stuff. I got the top. And then we have two things for the girls. So we got markers, we got like a coloring activity book like this. And also a kitten like cat activity book. So, we're going to put that, actually this is going to go on the bottom, because that just makes sense, because then it has, because it's too big for the box, you got to curve it a little bit. There we go. I'm just second. You know, sometimes it's hard to arrange these, because I know coloring books are always too big for these boxes, but like, I mean, yeah. And in this one, we can fit a bunch of pencils down on the side, so we're going to stick all those little pencils and stuff and erasers down on the side, just so that we have maximum room for... Okay, so now our box is looking like this, and um, we also have to put the activity pad in there. So that I think is going to go on top just so everything is smooth. So we're just going to put everything in the middle. And now, what else for the girl? Let us see. Okay. We also got these little, like, pencil bags for all their school supplies and art supplies. And we also have toothbrushes and soaps somewhere, but I don't have those right now because my parents got those at Menards because they're on sale, and I don't know where they are now. So... Let's see if there's anything else for the girl in here. Oh, yes. I also got them a pair of Crayola crayons. Um, I would say make sure to get them a good thing of good crayons. Not that you have to, but like the other ones break all the time, so I mean if you want them to last, get Crayola. Because those don't break very much. Okay, so honestly, that is all the stuff for the girl. And then you always need your little packing slip that comes on the brochure you'll probably get. Put that, put the box 
lid on. And you cannot put any liquids, candy, or toothpaste in here. Eh, it's not going to close, but we have to tape it anyways. That is a completely packed girl box. Which I'm going to put over there. Now we're going on to the boy box. So I'm going to take the little packing slip out. And now you always want to make sure to put like a little note in them that says that they actually have hope and stuff like that just to make them feel good. So for the boy, we got these little, two little like construction figures and a notepad. It's just a colored like notepad because we got him like writing supplies too. Also the pencil sharpeners and the orange and green erasers along with these two notebooks. These little figures we will take out of the box because, I mean, this will take up a lot of room, but those two will not. And now when they do this, uh, the Operation Christmas Child people, they do ask that it be new stuff just, just because, I mean, yeah, anyways, so we'll just put those two little figures in there. Now, there's a lot, of, lot more fun toys for boys than girls in the dormitory. Anyway, so we got these fling shot chickens. You put them on your finger, you stretch them, and they fling. So I'm just gonna open this package up, take out the little chickens. They just look like this. You put the hole in the bottom, and you just stick your finger in it. And you fling them. So yeah, we'll just put those in there. They're so bouncy. Okay. And then we also got these things. We got a, a base plate, a Lego base plate, and Lego bricks. So we are going to keep um, the bricks in the package, but this can come out. Because it's just because the bricks can possibly go all over the place when they open the box and not knowing it and it's just like dun 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 it's all over the ground stuff like that you know okay we also got this jump frogs game right here it's like you stick your finger and you have to have the frogs jumping into the pond and this little figure you got this little like Lizard. We got a Spider Man jump rope, which we will open. And these videos are just fun. Doing this is just fun because you know you're blessing somebody and making their life a lot easier and giving them hope. So it's always a good thing to at least try to enjoy it. Okay, we also got this like. Return sports ball so you can throw it and there's like a little thing that you hold and it comes back to you. Which is good because I know kids tend to lose things. I tend to lose things. So it's good if it has a string on it for you to hold. Also uh, we got little like socks, like little robot socks. Which are super duper duper cute. And I get, we got this in this size 5 to 9 because boys' feet are usually a little larger than girls' feet at this age. But honestly, uh, this will fit like size 3 kids too because, well, they're tiny. like this the black one in the middle and again it's like green and yellow so it's fine for both boys and girls to have this pencil pad what else cough drops are not for the boy okay the last like two things we got a boy paw patrol little thing and um 
the other 12 pencils. So, and then we also put soap and a thing in here. So, I believe that is it. Yes, that is it for the boy. Also, so just put your little packing slip on top. Close up the box. And you have your boy one pack too. And you don't have to do two. You can do one. You can do none. <laughs> you can do a bunch like ten, four, five. It doesn't matter. But you also have to make a nine dollar donation for the shipping because they have to ship it across the world on a plane. So, you know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!